Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subjects will take an issue of something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your fifth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way is via the like, share, subscribe to comments. It does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members and all those that purchase private reads, the extended, it all uh, uh, really helps out the donations, buy me coffees, etc, etc. Thank you very much indeed. Description box is all the information you need and the cross watches, you guys are more than welcome. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on. In your pre-shuffle, it was a, an interesting one. It was the soundtrack for uh, Beverly Hills Cop. The heat is on. The heat is on. So, one more. Let's see what's going on. The Oracle, the High Priestess, selling cancers this morning had something similar. Is it the same position? Possibly in the same position. Okay, your intuition's on point here. Something we're aware of. Okay. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Okay, and potential outcome. Interesting. We have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Strength and the Universe with the Sun. Okay, you've both energies of uh, Leo flanking Saturn with the uh, world energy there. Right. Okay. Interesting. You are massively feeling this energy uh, that's just happened with this moon in Taurus that we've just had the full moon, uh, total lunar eclipse. And um, the universe is really amping up your gifts to a point where it might feel... like a bit of a torture to a certain degree. I don't know if I've got the right words there. Um, okay, there is something that is standing out that I will mention is um, to not get addicted to some form i almost feel like um this could be for example somebody that tries out plant medicine mushrooms that type of thing there's a there's a real um potential energy here of um of, of addiction so just be careful there um if you keep that balanced um i kind of feel like you just um good to have spiritual gifts like nobody's business so we've got the oracle which is the high priestess what we're aware of is the moon so both cards of heightened intuition what we're not aware of is the hierophant this is divine wisdom in this deck as you can see clearly the crown chakra is wide open with this light coming at the top of his head interestingly moon and the hierophant is the moon in taurus which is what we just had that real potent energy of the total lunar eclipse in the recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is mastery. This is, um, you know, positive uh, reputation, that type of thing. Um, and I kind of feel like this is just saying you, you, you're mastering some sort of psychic abilities. Um, you're getting past illusions and fears. The advice is the Nine of Swords. And again, as advice, it says here, in a torture and an addiction. The advice is obviously don't get addicted to this, whatever this is. Um, this could be, um, this advice I'm kind of getting, yes, a little off, off, um, 
they're not getting addicted to whatever you potentially could be getting addicted to the moon can indicate um um escapism to a certain degree but what made me smile is the advice is let the universe turn up the heat because the heat is on is still going in my head and if you look at this we've got the heat the red but it also looks like a radiator <laughs> so don't be afraid to put on the heat as well this could be some of you that really um um maybe like an inner torture of, of, of saving money obviously with all the heating bills um but at the end of the day sometimes it can be counterproductive for example if you refuse to put the heating on in the house um and then there's a cold snap the chances of the pipes bursting if they haven't had any sort of uh, warm water going through them is extremely high which is going to cost you a hell of a lot more to fix so it's kind of like that type of thing so don't sort of go too extreme one way um you know to to do something obviously there can be many more um incidences i just it's the first thing that came to my head there as an example but obviously put that to anything don't be too extreme in whatever format your outcome is the lovers i almost feel like there's a partnership coming in for you and it's a very 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 potent um energy we've got the oracle with the hierophant so the high priestess and the hierophant this is like a spiritual power couple um, and with the lovers here okay for somebody there's somebody new coming in with the ace here and i kind of feel like it, the universe wants you to entertain it because there could be a focus of potentially somebody from the past and for some strange reason i almost feel like the high priestess and the moon here is to say that this person not might not necessarily be the one for you in the long run because i'm looking at the moon and the oracle and seeing like it's some this person was like a creative muse for you it was inspiration to maybe move forward and transform your life kind of like a catalyst in a sense um but let's see i want to see where the devil is so i must feel like this addiction is saying something card next to the seven of swords which is the mediator and resolution okay it feels like for some of you not all of you trust your intuition on this because um your intuition's on point with the oracle um but for some of you the person that you thought was this energy the lovers um isn't doing their work they're living in illusion and fear and i almost feel like because of that to continue your spiritual path somebody else is coming in to to replace and i don't mean it in a sense that this doesn't have to be romantic this could be just somebody that you have a purpose with if they're not willing to do the work which you know free will and all you know not everybody um will walk the path of, um, of, of, of some sort of spiritual path because normally it means speaking your truth and sometimes people don't want to do that because uh, of fear fear of how they will be received so I think it's a situation now where either or both your psychic abilities are getting heightened and and really turned up to the max at the same time whoever this is that you kind of intuitively feel is this i almost feel like the universe is turning up the heat on them to either do the work 
to face their shadows in the moon or to not. And if they don't, that's when new comes in, I feel. So the heat is on is basically the, the message. Um, either way, you come out with some sort of um, divine energy of either amazing psychic abilities or continued psychic abilities uh, or you get a spiritual um, partnership whether it's old or new whatever it fits for you or whatever which way you want to go okay super in your extended we'll look at this a bit more uh, we'll do um actually we'll do it We'll do past, present and future, but we'll coincide um, old and new as well. And like I say, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be business partnerships. Something that's something to do with your spiritual path. Okay. Look after yourselves, guys. Uh, if you can join me in extending, fantastic. If not, look after yourselves. Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces, um, Sun in Virgo, Taurus, um... Mars in Gemini, Gemini, Mercury in Virgo, Mercury in Sagittarius, Moon in Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries. All right, guys, pentacles, swords, cups, wands, everyone's here. Those who stand out. Let me know. Take care. Bye.